And now the last steps with the tonneau cover is to shut our tailgate. We are good to go. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Rick again with the taco. Again is another day of putting the mods that I had on my 2018 Tacoma onto the 2020 Tacoma. If you guys don't know why I have a 2020 or why I had a 2018, why it's totaled. Again, there's multiple videos on the channel that explain why that is. But today is both a review and a install of the Gator Trifold tonneau cover for the 2016 and up Tacomas. Now, like I mentioned, this was on my 2018 Tacoma before I towed it and I'm now transferring it to my 2020 Tacoma. And I can tell you after having it for two years on my 2018 Tacoma, this thing is legit. I love this thing. The trifold action is dope. It like makes using this bed area so much better. Some common questions when you are putting a tonneau cover on a truck uh, relate to water and how well this seals out water. And I can tell you right now that it does a, an eh job. For the most part, it keeps water out of the whole entire bed. The area it struggles with is in the front two corners, and I can show you that uh, right now. But one good thing about the Tacoma bed, because it is a composite bed and not a metal bed, there are actually drainage holes on the front end of the bed so that any water that is in your bed drains out the front. So the areas that I'm talking about that it struggles with are right here. And it, it's, it's honestly just really hard for them to get a good seal around that because it's a complete gap all the way through. And when it does rain, it tends to leak water down from here and it leaks over to here. But like I mentioned, there are drain holes right there that pretty much drain any water. So as long as you have all of your stuff on top of these rails and your stuff is like semi waterproof, like it can take a little bit of water beating up on it or a mist, um, your stuff back here will be completely dry. Uh, I carry DJ equipment, speakers, all that sort of stuff. As you guys know, I'm a full-time DJ, so I transport DJ gear all the time back here. And DJ gear cannot get wet. I mean, it can get a little bit moist, but for the most part, it's electronics. It cannot get wet. And I have no problem putting gear back here and traveling in the rain to an event and it's staying dry. It has no problem with that. It's just the note that it is not 100% water Proof back here with this tonneau cover. So now with that said, let's move on to how we install this. And the first thing we need to start off with is the weather stripping that comes with this kit. This right here is the weather stripping. And this is meant to go here, right along here to seal off the bed um, in this gap from water getting into where the tonneau cover is. So this is gonna be the first thing we're gonna be installing and this is just applied with some 3M tape. It's very simple and I will walk you through it now. Now the first part of the weather proofing stuff is gonna go up here in between this gap, which I said is the most likely point that this thing actually leaks. Now in the kit when you first buy it, there is a foam end cap that you put these foam caps on either side of this. Now I don't have those because those were on my 2018 and obviously you can't take those off. So what I'm gonna use is a little bit of the weatherproof stripping that I have there. That also goes on the back side here. I'll show you that as well. First thing though, we're gonna be cutting and putting this into our corners. All right, so there you go. Basically what I did was um, I secured this on the back side, which is closest to this. And I basically put a strip of it in here and then use my scissors in here to attach the adhesive so that it stays right there. And I did the same thing on this side. So that is lodged in there and I think that's gonna hold up really well to keep a nice seal from here, um, from any water coming from back here behind and coming into the bed. Time will tell. But obviously when you first buy this kit, it comes with a big foam block that does a lot better than what I had to do here, but uh, I, that managed to work out just fine for this application. Now we need to move on to weather stripping around the tailgate. So with the weather stripping here around our tailgate, we're gonna start right up here with this notch. So we're gonna start right here, and we are then going to go down the side until we get to this bump stop right here. That's where we're going to stop with um, the first bit of this weather stripping. And I'm gonna cut it right here. And now I'm going to remove that backing. Well, first I'm gonna make sure it's the right, we are actually at the right distance. We look to be good there. So now I'm gonna remove this uh, adhesive backing and I'm going to apply it starting at the bottom
So now we need to apply the last little bit here from the bump stop down. And this is what it looks like when you are done. Again, you skip over this bump stop here and all the way up and around. Now, as you can see, the thicker portion goes towards the bed side of the truck. That's why when the tailgate comes up, if this big side was here, it would pretty much rip it off. So it tucks in right against here and up into the big side. So that's how that is done. I'm gonna quickly do the other side. All right, so now we are moving on to how we actually mount the tonneau cover in the bed. We're gonna be utilizing the actual railing system that is in the Tacomas on both sides to mount it. And what we're gonna be using are these plate brackets right here that come with the kit. So I've already pre-assembled them real quick, but basically you have the hook system here, and then you have this back plate right here. And what you do is you screw these screws with a washer on the outside into both, and you kind of loosely just set this up so that they're just barely held together. Again, these aren't even screwed all the way through. Just barely held together. Assemble all four of them, and this will make it easier for us to actually put these in the rails. So now let me show you how we slide these into the rail. And then we're going to be actually putting the tonneau cover up on top of this. So for anyone that is unfamiliar, this is, I can't remember what this is called, but this is like a U-Track channel. It runs on either side of the Tacoma. Um, and this allows you to use the included tie downs that come with your Tacoma, which are these right here. And they just simply, you push in and you turn if they are loose enough. Push it, in, turn, and then you can lock it into the thing. You could also lift up and you could also slide this along the rail so that you have a tie down point. And these are nice because they just come right out as well. So you just pull, turn, and you can take it out of the rail. So now to get our hooks into the actual U channel, we need to open it up. So to do that, there's a little plastic end clip here. All you do is push in on it and it pops right out. And now we can take our block, we can slide it into the channel and slide it down to where we need it to be. Now there are two per side. One will go at the front of, or at the front of the bed and one will go at the back of the bed um, to secure the front of the trifold and the back of the trifold. So once you get both of those in there, you put your end cap back in. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and then I'm going to take the tonneau cover, put it up here, and we'll start to actually tie it down, which is as simple as just tightening a few hand bolts and we'll be ready to go. Now, I don't know if I'm in frame, but the first step here is to center up the tonneau cover before we go to bolt it down. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is kind of manipulate the tonneau cover to see where it is that it lines up just right for your taste. Now, being that I already had the previous tonneau cover on my last Tacoma, I pretty much know where it needs to go. And one little bonus thing to start off, it might be better off for you to unfold it all the way. So that way you can line it up perfectly on either side coming down the length of the truck. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna fold it back. That way I can now go underneath and show you guys where to fold it down. So now underneath of the tonneau cover, sorry for the echo, but these right here are our lock in so this is going to come down and lock into this hook so what we want to do is we want to mount this hook in a place that's going to work best so once you line up your hook to be where this is we can actually slide this now back out of the way and it kind of locks up if you push it it locks up in here and over here on the other side i'm also going to slide it over into place and now we're going to use our allen key to tighten these bolts up now you can mount this both all the way up, all the way down. There's a little bit of a play to this plate. It's got the same slots as right here. So for my purposes, what I did on the last one was I went all the way up and tightened it down. That just seemed to be the easiest way to do it. And that's how I'm going to be doing it on this one. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Now I've already done it on this side, but you hook this other hook, the plastic hook, underneath of the metal hook, and then you tighten this little uh, hand wing nut up and to the point where the tonneau cover is now locked onto the truck. So now I'm going to do it on this side for you guys in live. So you can see you pop it down, you slide it over into position, clip it underneath of the metal clip, and then you just tighten this wing nut up until it becomes nice and snug 
with the top. And there we go. Nice and tight. This is not going anywhere. And the tonneau cover now is secure on the back side. Now we need to mount our fronts. So we take our trifold and we unfold it all the way out. And you guys can kind of see, I made sure that I had equal seam on the left and on the right. All good to go there. And now up here at the front, we can see where our front hook needs to go. Now this is a little bit different. And the reason for that is because it's meant to slide under. So this will slide under this and then you push down to lock it into place. So that way you can easily unlatch your tonneau cover, slide this up and over, and then you can fold it back to be able to access the majority of the bed if you need to in a quick scenario versus on the more permanent application back here, it's a twist screw on. So this is a lot nicer, especially being able to quickly undo and redo the tonneau cover to access the bed. But let's get these hooks into position and let's line them up and secure them down. All right, so we are fully screwed down just like in the rear. And now for the back, it's pretty simple. Just lock it into place and we are good to go. Because this is the same distance literally as my 2018, you don't have to adjust it. But if you need to, with these, what you do is you kind of slide them out and then you turn this. This is how you make it go up and down to get it to that right height so that when it hooks underneath, it hooks properly. And then when you pull it down, locks into place. Same thing on this side, put it down, put it under, lock it down. And we now have our tonneau cover fully installed. And now the last steps with the tonneau cover is to shut our tail. We are good to go. So that's it for how to install the Gator tonneau cover for the 2016 all the way up to the 2020 Tacomas. Again, this is my 2020 Tacoma TRD off-road and cement gray, all that good stuff. I've had it for two years on my 2018 model. I love the thing. It works flawlessly. The tri-fold works great. It lasted me two years with no problem. This thing still looks like it's in brand new condition. If you guys would like to check out this exact same tonneau cover, I'll leave it in the description down below where you can purchase it. The link might not show that it's uh, that it works with the 2020s yet, uh, but it does. It's the exact same rail system and everything that they had in the 2018 and in the 2019 and then the 20, 2016. So 2016 to 2020, um, this tonneau cover will work for your truck. This is the short bed. Uh, I do believe they make one for the long bed as well. But again, link to purchase will be in the description down below. Lastly, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Leave down the comment section down below. What do you guys think of this tonneau cover? What uh, can I improve on in terms of the videos? What videos do you want to see? What mods do you want to see? Uh, the lift kit video with these tires and wheels over here will be coming eventually. I need to work out a time that I have like three days available where I could put this lift kit on because it is a very lengthy process to put a three inch lift kit on this truck. It is a actual strut lift assembly. It's not just a spacer kit. Spacer kits are pretty quick. This is a strut lift assembly. It takes a while. But if you want to see those videos that will be coming out in the future, be sure to click that subscribe button. And um, I still don't really know what the outro is for this channel, but uh, Taco Rick out. Peace. Fred!